Maybe we can fingerprint that. Get into the safe. Ooh. Yep, there's kitties. Okay, so. Let's go out and go around the quick and easy way. Right. She can give him the glass. Oh, I love carrying stuff. Alright. There's no more fingerprints uh. left. Oh, is this what all the dust is for? This'll be why we need all the dust, isn't it? Five more specks of pixel dust. Okay, but I, I do think we need to get the fingerprint off of that glass. That'll have Chuck's fingerprint on it. We can open the fingerprint lock safe. That's my thoughts, anyway. Let's look at these. Uncle Chuck was really creepy. Who was he watching? Uncle Chuck was really creepy. Who was he watching? Insert terminal boot disk. Better find that disk before I can do anything. That's that I painting think again. I've seen this painting somewhere before. This painting is firmly nailed to the wall. That doesn't seem to work. There's definitely a trapdoor here as well, but we can't see it. I can see it, but my characters can't. Oh, black soot. Ransom has the black soot. He also has another pixel. So we need to find... Thanks. I've been collecting dust pixels for years. Bunch. I'm tired of carrying this... Use this with this. Yes. Okay, we need tape. Post office was on A Street, I think. Yeah, it's the same as in the bank, but it's also, I think, the same as what was in Chuck's, um, like, attic, if you like. Back at the mansion, and the safe was hidden behind it. Need a bit more tape. Go easy on the tape. We're almost out. All right, I'm almost done. There we go. We have Chuck's fingerprint. There's definitely a clear fingerprint here. I don't think we can get into the mansion, though. I'll double check that. Now that the reading of the will is done, I wonder if maybe every character can enter the mansion, or if Dolores is the only one still. Yeah, the fact that we ended up outside... Where have I heard that address before? Ugh, it's a rusty shovel. Take it. Can we pick up more wood? No, thank you. No. I don't need any wood. Better ring the doorbell. All right, Jair. You can come in. Been remodeling with me shiny zinc shovel. Oh, well then. <laughs> Lots of holes around. I have no idea what you just said. Okay, then. I'll be back. He said, get out. All right. So, yes, Dolores needs to be the one that goes in. She's the only one allowed in. But we'll go get the tape off of him. Thank you. And then in she goes. Digging a hole. Yes. That worked. There's something inside. Chokes. Passwords, top secret. 
<laughs> the CompuServe password is comps123. Oh my god. One for Prodigy, Source, Office Computer, Genie, Quantum Link, Habitat, <laughs> BBS for Games and News, 1 Chuck 1, 2 Chuck 2. <laughs> P.S. Think of better passwords. And password 1, 2, 3. Oh my god. Diggy diggy hole. He's a dwarf and he's digging a hole. Okay, that is actually a slightly different painting, but yeah. Alrighty. Well, okay, so just one thing to check here then. Just escape to the afterlife now. Okay. That's all he needs to do. I don't know how he does that. No idea what the foil wrap brick is supposed to do. Before we go running through any of this, I want to bring the agent through the factory. Let's see if maybe she can fulfill her steal the AI thing. I might be getting close now. It doesn't seem to fit that. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. He already said he needs to talk to his daughter. Yeah, and we know we can talk to people with the crystal. That's clearly something we're going to need to do. It looks like I'm getting closer. Not too sure how yet. This is all a good sign. I hope I didn't get in over my head. That doesn't seem to work. Interesting it's installing viruses. This is troubling. I wonder what it's installing viruses to then. Or why is it installing viruses for that matter of fact? That picture looks familiar. Kind of... I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. I wonder what Chuck was monitoring. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give this to her. This for a while. She's the computer person. Use this disc it's here. Booting up. Dolores. Oh. I feared you would come. Uncle Chuck? Where are you? I have uploaded myself into the Pillow Factory's master. He did. Pillowtron? You He's Dr. Zola. Self to Pillowtron? Not just the Pillowtron, but the Pillowtron 3000 TM, and I am now more intelligent and powerful than anyone in the world. The things I know would blow your mind. This is your mind. <laughs> this is your mind blown. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. The computerized world will bend to my every will. Uncle Chuck you have lost your mind! No, Dolores, I have gained a mind! A more powerful mind! A mind linked to the fabric of creation! Join me, Dolores, before it's too late! I will not join you, Uncle Chuck. I will find you and stop this insane plan of yours. <laughs> Let the games begin. What? Um... Uncle Chuck was really creepy. The deeper into the fact to find out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Okay. Aha, here we go. Oh, this was the password for this one. Eight days ago from this terminal. Okay. Oh, directory. Useless. Factory status. Uh, robot hall and laser hall are deadly, apparently. 
Mmm. I, th I think we want to go there. Mmm. The Pillowtron's temperature is cool. I bet that big fan is like a massive air intake for the heat sink or something. Your move. Top row. Left. Row right. So, bottom row, obviously center. This is going to be a stalemate, isn't it? <laughs> okay, middle row, left. Tea Weasel, thank you for all the bitties. Shy, welcome back. What have you missed? Uh, crazy stuff. <laughs> How to sum it up. Um, we've now found our way into the pillow factory after various finagling and cadoodling and whatnot. And we found out that Uncle Chuck, who ran the pillow factory, was nuts. He thinks the world is a big adventure game, maybe a big text adventure, but he might actually be right. Because there's 3,000 people in the phone book of a town of 80 people. And all the people are outside this world. <laughs> it's all very weird. <laughs> Thank you, though, for that uh, that bit rain there, T-Weasel. Much appreciated. That computer got to have lots of uh, 6502s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, this all stalemated. Uh, bottom row. Right, come. Now we're playing tic-tac-toe against the computer. Tie game, yes. So, let's try this again. Up row center. There is a way to always win at tic-tac-toe if you go first, and I can't remember what it is. Middle row. The left column. More bitties! Oh my god! <laughs> T Weasel, thank you! It's either one of the corners or the middle. Yeah, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I was a kid. <laughs> She's shared cheer rewards to the others in the chat. Thank you for that. Awesome. That one was a mega cheer. It was. Excellent. Hey, everyone enjoy those new emotes. The only winning move is not to play. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much for that, Jungonte. And welcome to the channel. Hi. Danker for das. Mm hmm. Oh, you got a flamey sword thing? Cool. Bit rains and rewards, yeah. Right, so bottom row uh, needs to be a uh, right column. Okay, now he's just going to block me anyway, isn't he? Yeah. Bottom row, left column. Too bad we got to at the end of the game. I would have enjoyed seeing you th go through this. Well, the videos are available on my channel if you want to watch through the rest of the playthrough. And I've got a YouTube channel. Um, in a month time, this uh, playthrough will be appearing on there as well. Because I delay the video releases there. So, you can always catch up. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but I think there's still a fair bit more to go. I'm not sure. I don't think we're right at the end yet. Top row. Um, right column then. There we go. <laughs> Shy with the cute emote there. Look at that emote. That's adorable. There's got to be a reason to win this game, hasn't there? You know there is. Yeah, I remember it being like... I remember going to the corners. And then... Bottom row. Right, if I go bottom row left, it's going to force him to go there. But then I'm going to be forced to go there. Then 
Let's try it though. You like watching people play this game? All oh, right, and I'm quite good at it. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Now, if I do one more corner, he's gonna win. So I have to do the middle row now, um, and the right column. I can't, I've got to go there and he will go there and he will cut me off. So we're going to stalemate this again. Maybe we have to take the center first. Middle, center. Yes, I was just thinking the same thing, T Weasel. And then we take corners. If I take top, left. Middle row, right. Hmm. I think we goofed it. We could have won there if we took um, first row middle. Oh, I made a mistake. Hang on. Top row. Center. Horses in there. I would need to put one of these, but then he'll go there. Yeah, I like uh, I like having an interactive chat. I'm quite fortunate to have that. Need to make a double A A edge. I need to make a double edge. Sorry. Yep. Hmm. Let's just try this again. Hang on. All center. Let's see where he goes. Okay. Phone call people need to stop calling during Twitch time. Yes, they do. We do have a good group here, yes. I'm really happy to have that. Okay, uh, the Merrick, what's... First top. Uh, by first top, do you mean top corner? Up here? The landscape painting is everywhere and also on the hotel. I think it's on the bank. Uh, not sure of the meaning of it. Yeah, I we haven't figured that out yet. Right, so top row, left column. Yep. And then he goes there. I think I know now. If I go there, then I force him to either go there or there, and I can take the other one. I figured it. Middle, center, left column. Now you have to go corner and hope for the center you basically won. Really? Because if he goes there, then I can't make anything, and I've got I've got to do two. I think it's. Oh, we need to prevent, though. Yeah, we need to go... Right. Yes, I just realized. Um, so, middle row, right column. Stop him from getting one. Damn. Hmm. It may be reference to another game. I've wondered that. There's a few things in this I haven't quite got where it's like, hmm, where do I know that from? Like the characters say, that number, where do I know that from somewhere? 
It's almost like they're saying, you remember that, in that other game? <laughs> so, yeah. Um... I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one now. If I go there, he's gonna block there and there, and then we just stalemated again. There's no way to win this one. Let's just try this again. So he's gone into the middle. If I go directly opposite there, if I go there, he will definitely have to go there. Which means I would have to go there. Hmm. This tic tac toe has to be a reference to the movie War Games. I was wondering that, yeah. So, yeah, if we go opposite then. Uh, bottom row, right column. Let's see where he goes. He goes there. So we have to go there. Now we're playing defensive in a way. Well, it just threw the game. What the hell? That's weird. <laughs> it just threw the game. Hey, Ariadel, how's it going? I don't need your pity computer. Let's try the adventure. What is this? Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. <gasps> we know about this. We got a thing with this. How are we rocking? All good over here, thank you very much. How about you? How are you doing these days? Yeah, the AI got tired. It's like, fine, I'll let you win one. <laughs> you can't win tic-tac-toe against a computer. Yeah, I guess you can't. There's too much, like, rhythm to it, I guess you could say, or a flow to it. Not bad? Good. Excellent. Okay, um... Let's just quit. Let's just reread what we had with Dolores. She's got a red gel decoder and a solution book for the actual game. Now this here, I was talking about this yesterday when we found this, right? You've got to use like a red gel thing to look through it, because without it, it looks like this. And you can't really read it very well. I remember when games used to come with stuff like this. I had a game called Quarantine. You should go and look it up. It's from the 90s, a PC game. And it's a driving game, and I love it. I want them to make a reboot of it so badly, because it was such a cool game. But the, it, the annoying thing was, to log into the game, and it wasn't an online game, but just to activate it each time, you had to have um, you had this piece of paper that was like a sort of a burgundy colour. The background was just like all this like burgundy colour. And then the writing that was on it was crisscrossed over in three different colours, and you got a pair of glasses that filtered out two of the three colours so you could read the text that was in it. Otherwise, it was just a bunch of cross-hatched, multicoloured nonsense. And it would ask you for the grid reference for the code, like, what is A7? So you would look at A, down to 7, and put that five-digit code in, and then it would let you play the game. <laughs> it was weird. But it was such a good game. I loved it. You could also put your own CD once you loaded the game. You could put your own music CDs into the drive on your computer. And then the in-car radio would play the music off of that CD. And that was really cool. I loved that. You can play infinite against anyone. Uh, you only lose when you do a mistake, which is funny. Yes. Or when, like I say, somebody's like, oh, they're not giving up. I'll, I'll throw the game. You should ask to play Global Thermonuclear War. Hmm. I think we won't this time. You had a boxing game with this very same protection, uh, copy protection method. Yeah. 
I said this was old school. So, um, famed text adventure designer Ron Gilbert quoted as saying, the text adventures are here to say blah blah blah. When entering the colossal dungeon, heading to the east will cause instant death. Head to the west and look around. There isn't much to see, but you might notice something important. It's rumored the designers hid something there, but it's never been found. It might just be a red herring. Head to the west again. You'll find yourself in another room with a beam of light. Many have pondered the significance of the light and its relationship to the larger story being told. Morning, while in the chamber uh, with the robots, issuing the secret debug word Fizzcum will hard crash the game and take down the entire computer, forcing a lengthy reboot. I'm scared to do that in case it's one of those, it'll actually crash your computer, lol, because then it'll take down my stream. <laughs> and I don't want that. <laughs> for these guys, uh, they should have went uh, for the mighty wheel. Uh, their wheel was beautiful. Mm. Alright, so if we go east, dead. Oh. You walk into the dark chamber, you see a, a glint of light just as the spikes reflect off your lantern, but it's too late, you are impaled before you have time to react. You lay in the dark chamber for several hours, the blood is slowly draining from your veins as your consciousness slowly slips away, you ponder the reasons for being here. What was it that drove you to this dark chamber of death? Did you really have a choice, or had the choice been made by others? <laughs> Me? Just as everything becomes clear, death takes over and there's nothing. Nothing. That ending really gives me something to think about. Okay. So interesting, this is a modded version though. What happens if we go north? There is no exit to the north. Okay, go west. Life is peaceful there, I'm told. You are in a long stone corridor with an exit to the east and west. It smells of death. Look around. Okay, go west again. A beam of light coming from the opening above. A river can be heard to the north. Okay, go to the light. The opening is too high to reach. So we go north. The path leads to a dead end. There is no way out except the way you came in from the south. There are strange cave paintings on the wall. They're odd paintings depicting humans running in terror from robots. Other humans seem to be controlling the robots with joysticks and laughing. <laughs> Again, us, game players, yes. <laughs> the wheel they had for Monkey Island, the Dialer Pirate. I remember seeing those. I never got Monkey Island when it was like in its original form. I only bought the remastered version recently. Those were games that I kind of missed when I was younger. Okay, so here, Fizzcum will crash the computer. I hope it only crashes this one. But just in case, I want to save the game. And if the stream goes down, I am ever so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. West, west, north, Fizzcum. Dumping core memory. Halting Chuck store. Oh god. Okay, we're fine. I want to be here too, please. I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're f screwed. Fools. You are trapped in the factory with no possible escape. My intellect now spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. Shall we take a vote? All in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron 3000 TM and ruling the world with him say, I. I. Yes, please. Very well. All in favor of being crushed by robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals, say aye. Nay. Aye. Aye. What's wrong with you all? Stain. So be it. Let no one say I don't support a strong democracy. Billions of tubes! <laughs> you will now all die. 